Hey guys, hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. When we last left off, we had just blown our way through the door. So, let's have a little poke around inside, shall we? Now, technically, we haven't actually looked down the other way yet either. Um, there's still one door downstairs that we haven't looked in. So, you know what? Let's just go through here for now and have a little poke around. Hopefully we can find some more, you know, bullets because uh, <clears throat> bullets are quite good. Uh, I do like having bullets for my guns. Right, well, with that being said, we did get the thing from there. Okay, ooh, well, it looks like we did a number here, but this place is looking a bit fancy. Hmm. Very nice indeed. And for some reason, I'm also capturing audio from my PC as well. No. Ooh, look at this. It looks like there's a gentleman standing there. All right. Hmm. Okay, well, it's a dead girl. Oh. I'm terribly sorry. I thought you were another one of those zombies. Are you Chief Irons? Yes, that's me. And just who are you? No, don't bother telling me. It makes no difference. You'll end up just like all the others. Uh -huh. That's the mayor's daughter. I was told to look after her, but I failed miserably. Just look at her. She was a true beauty, her skin nothing short of perfection. But it will soon putrefy and she will turn into a zombie within the hour like all the others. There must be some way to stop it. In a manner of speaking, there is. Either by putting a bullet through her brain, or by decapitating her completely. Hmm. Sounds like he's getting a bit of a kick out of this. And to think that taxidermy used to be my mm. hobby. But no longer. Please. I'd really like to be alone now. Yes, he's going to be alone, all right. Uh, I think he wants some alone time with that body. Um, let's not think about that too much right now. Uh, hey, Chief. Um, it's a little bit awkward, but do you have any bullets? Various trophies. There's nothing strange about them. Hmm. Yeah, I mean... There's definitely something a little bit unhinged about him. He's uh, questionable at best. And uh, let's just say, I think he made her dead. I think that's very obvious. Hey, stuffed animal. Yes. Yes. How observant of you, Claire. So he's probably going to have a good fiddle with that body. Let's get out of here. This is a very grand area. This guy seems to have a heck of a lot of money. Considering if this is how he's decorating his workplace, I wonder what his house is like. Uh-oh. Come here. There's no point in hiding. Well, I don't think that's a zombie. Look at how grand this place is. This guy's been up to no good, all right. How else would he be able to afford this stuff? Well, let's go... Uh, let's go turn the light on in this ominous room. Ooh, what's that? Chief Secretary's Diary B. June 8th. As I was straightening up the Chief's room, he burst through the door with a furious look on his face. It's only been two months since I've started working here, but that's the second time I've seen him like this. The last time was when I bumped into that statue. Only this time, he looked even more agitated than ever. I seriously thought for a moment that he was going to hurt me. June 15th, I finally discovered what the chief has been hiding all along. If he finds out 
that I know my life will be in serious danger. It's getting late already. I'm just going to have to take this one day at a time. Oof. Hmm. Hello. Wait. <laughs> Let me go. Not creepy. Easy, easy there. I'm not a zombie. Well. You're safe now. Oh, that's very forgiving. Very quickly. <laughs> Leon, come in. I found the girl. And I've cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. Got it. My name's Claire. What's yours? Sherry. Do you know where your parents are? They both work at the Umbrella Chemical Plant hmm. near the city limits. Interesting. The chemical plant? Then what are you doing here? My mom called and told me to go to the police station because it was too dangerous to stay at home. From the look of things, I'd say she was probably right. Yes. But it's dangerous here as well. You'd better come with me. But there's something out there. I don't know what it is, but I saw it. Much larger than any of those zombies. Hmm. And it's coming after me. That doesn't sound good. What was that? That's what I was telling you about. <laughs> it's here. Uh. Sherry, wait. Yeah, well... <sighs> Claire doesn't scare easy, Sherry, so don't worry about that. I was going to say, there's an FH spray in here. Um, I'm hoping we won't need it, but, you know, I'd rather not need it and have it than need it and not have it, if you get my drift. And the more time I'm spending with this control pad, the more I'm liking it. Blue Stinger does not seem to like the analog stick. Uh, well, Blue Stinger doesn't really like analog sticks anyway. It, it feels like it was very much made for digital control. It's very difficult to get Elliot to run with this analog stick. However, all the other games I've tried perform beautifully. I think it's safe to say it will be very, very, very difficult to go back to the uh, original control pad. This one is literally better in every single way. And I'm definitely going to get a new one when I have some uh, spare cash. Another one, I should say. Hmm, looks like Chiefy's fucked Chief. off. Okay, interesting. Ah, looks like he's left us a present. Thanks, Chief. Just what I wanted. Well, we don't know what's been screaming at us, but I'm sure we're going to find out eventually. Hello, there's a button below the picture. Yeah, let's give that a switch, shall we? Well, well, well. Looks like we have three cutouts, and we've been collecting something. The sacrifice dies by the claw of the jaguar. Its blood forms the serpent that poisons the earth. An eagle glistens bathed in blood. And the gateway of doom will open. Man, I miss those puzzles and those text scripts and everything. Oh, beautiful. Chief's Diary. September 23rd, it's all over. Those imbeciles from Umbrella have finally done it. Despite all their promises, they've ruined my town. Soon the streets will be infested with zombies. I'm beginning to think that I may even be infected myself. I'll kill everybody in town if that turns out to be true. And this is the police chief. Yes, the guy that was convicted of, of rape and, 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 and other horrible atrocities that we probably don't even know about. September 24th. Uh, well, he wasn't convicted, but he was accused of. Uh, I was successful in spreading confusion among the police as planned. I've made sure that no one from the outside will come to help. With the delays in police actions, no one will have the chance to escape the city alive. I've seen to it personally that all the escape routes from inside the precinct have been cut off as well. There are several survivors still attempting to escape through the lower levels, but I'll make sure no one gets out. September 26th. I've had a change of heart about the remaining survivors inside the precinct. I've decided to hunt them down myself. I shot Ed through the back, through the heart, less than an hour ago. I watched him writhe in pain on the floor as a, uh, in a pool of his own blood. 
The expression on his face was positively exquisite. He died with his eyes wide open, staring up at me. It was beautiful. I wonder if the mayor's daughter is still alive. I let her escape so I could enjoy hunting her down later. I'm going to enjoy my new trophy. Yes. Frozen. Forever. In the pose I choose to give her. Yes. Yeah, the chief, eh? I hope he gets what's coming to him. A very horrible, agonizing demise would be rather wonderful. What a son of a bitch. God damn son of a bitch. Right. Now, let's go. We've got one more room to uh, explore. I haven't had many liquors yet. I definitely remember more liquors in this game. But I'm also possibly getting confused with the second game. Uh, the remake, I should say. The remake, that wonderful, wonderful remake. Oh, that wonderful remake. Right, so, what do we need? We don't really want that. Let's ditch this down. Uh, we'll hold on to the heart key, obviously. We, uh, I guess we'll take that. Uh, we need the lighter. We do need the crank. I don't think we need the crank just yet. Right, let's go. Let's go and explore. I can't actually remember um, if we explored the last one, the last room. Um, the door below us. Uh, it's been a couple of days since I've recorded this. <laughs> in fact, when I was loading this game up for my intro, <laughs> I was like, uh, I have no idea what we just did. And it's only when I loaded the save, I was like, ah, right, yes, we're in this room, blah, blah, blah. And it also looks like I have forgotten my drink. So, one second, guys, I'm going to go get my drink. Right. That is better. Now... My first day off, which they have first. I think I should go for the ruby ale first. Ah, yes. I haven't actually had a drink for months. I did uh, treat myself the other day to a load of ciders. Well, a four pack of cider, really nice cider. Got home, started drinking it. Thought, hmm, not getting that usual, unusual, well, not getting the usual buzz from this. Decided to have a closer inspection of the packaging to realize I'd somehow picked up alcohol-free cider. Hmm. Oh, Jesus, that's good. Uh, now, I don't usually mind. In fact, I didn't mind it was alcohol-free because it was still bloody lovely stuff. But, you know. <sighs> Unlike, I guess, a lot of people, I don't drink to get drunk. I drink because I enjoy the flavor. Although, getting drunk is fun. Now, let's go back down here. We've got the heart key. And we should have the lighter. We do. Alright. Now, of course, I forgot that we did actually go this way. We just, uh, we went down and around the backside. Read into that what you will. Now, I'm pretty sure we there shouldn't be any more zombies in here. Now, I was going to record Blue Stinger before I did this game. Um, but I started playing it to test it out. Oh, that's still the club. Okay. Shit. So, I, where was the heart key then? We still don't have the club. Where do we need the heart? Ah, I know. I know. I've just gone the wrong way. Yeah, I was going to do Blue Stinger. And uh, I started playing it again just to test the game out. And I started really enjoying it. So I thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to run through it uh, before I record it to get reacclimatized with the game. And maybe get some of the cool unlocks. But I got to a certain point in that game, which I will point out when we record it. That Zed is still very much alive on the floor. We're not going to worry about him. Um, 
I got to a certain point where the game would crash every single time, and I'm sure we picked up this dude's bullets, didn't we? Yeah. Every that's the guy that the chief killed, I think. Just the way that he's like the only, well, one of the only bodies, and he's actually face up looking up. So I'm guessing that's Ed. I guess. So this is the heart. Yes, the heart key. Yeah. So I got to one certain door in the game, and my copy constantly crashed. I tried it about seven or eight times. Every time we went through the, this one door, the freaking game crashed. And I'm annoyed. I should have bought the cable with me. That's fine. There is uh, a room down here. There's also loads of liquors down here. I'm not very well prepared for this bit, actually. Yeah, so I've ordered... I'm uh, Blue Sting is quite an expensive game, but I managed to find a cheap copy of it on eBay, which was disc only. Yeah, so there's two doors that we need the club for. And... Yeah, I managed to get two. Uh, managed to find a disc version, which is great. Because I still have the box in really good condition. Now, we've got bloody dogs down here, which is fine, but we're really... I'm really low on ammo to be fighting dogs. Come on. Come on, pooch. There's one. Now, yeah, he's not... Yes. Right, see you later, buddy. Come on. Let's try and get these guys to funnel down here. There we go. Oh, we're empty. We're empty. <laughs> Thanks to the VMU for that one. Come on, you bastards. Still got more in you? Shit. Actually fired. Um, missed the bullet there. We've got five rounds left. That is it. Five rounds. That's the morgue, I believe. We can't get in there yet. Yeah, autopsy room. Uh, ah, there's four, uh, three rooms that we need for the... Okay, interesting. Now in here I think there's just a heart. Oh, right, the club key, yes. We need to get Sherry to get us the club key, don't we? Now, there is the herb there, which we will grab up. Which we might as well. Interesting, like, how much of this game that I've forgotten, considering that I really have finished this game so many times. There is something here. I think it's the map. Yeah, the map. There's no bullets here, though, or anything like that. Um, yeah. So, I think it's up, down, up, down. Power supply? Okay. We can't do anything with that yet, though. Oh, that's good. Hobgoblin ruby ale. Oh, God. That's so good. But that does restore power to the um, card reader that we're going to need to get into the weapons room. Now, I don't know what to do. I'm very tempted to leave everything for Leon. Now, because usually there's a side pack and there's a machine gun in there. Uh, and you have one for Leon and you have one for Claire. I'm very tempted. Is there dogs down here? Down this way? Because this is the way that Leon goes. I don't know if there's any goodies down this way. Or any dogs. Let's see if there's anything we can find. Hmm... Yeah, I'm very tempted to leave everything for Leon. Now, there is a herb this way. See, Leon and Ada haven't been down to move that just yet. Which is cool. We'll have you. Now, I still also don't know whether to do the Code Veronica on the Dreamcast. Or to do it on the PlayStation 4. I think I'm going to do it on the PlayStation 4. 
because I've already done the HD remake on the 360, which is the one I have on the Xbox One X. Now, the problem with that game is I found it really freaking dark. Like, really dark. It was ridiculously dark. So, on the PS4, I have the PlayStation 2 version that they redid. Uh, with achievements and all that good stuff. So, from a content standpoint, it has everything. I said grab this red. Whereas, of course, for the Dreamcast uh, version, the Dreamcast version, although it was the original version, it's actually the weakest because it doesn't have the extra stuff, which is a shame. It really is. Right. Now, we should be able to avoid these dogs. I say that. There was going to be one that jumps down from the top. Yeah, and I'm still pushing the wrong buttons. Yeah, so you get two dogs here that jump down, one from each side. But we're not going to worry about them too much. Fuck those guys. Okay, now. Let's go in here. Luckily, this is a save room. Oh, that music! That music! Ah, oh, that music! That fucking music! Listen to that music. Right, you know when you hear that music, everything is right with the world once more. Look at these herbs. Like, like I haven't even been careful. I haven't, you know, been gentle or, or, or tried to not get hit and shit like that. And we are stacking herbs like nobody's business. Don't need that. Don't need that. Oh, that is so sad. Look at our ammo. There's more ammo in the morgue. Which is fine. Uh, there's more ink ribbons here, which, I mean, sure, I guess. Right. There's way more ink ribbons in this version. Crazy amount. Now, oh my god, ale. You know, I haven't had ale. I don't know if I've had an ale this year. Hello, Sherry. Sherry, I've been looking everywhere for you. I was so oh worried. My god. We've got to go now, honey, okay? If we stay here, that monster will find us. Well. Let's go. No, I won't. What's the matter? Um. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's not that. Claire. What's going on? It's because of my daddy. He's over there. I heard him call my name. That was weird. Daddy must have been attacked by the monsters. I have to help him. Uh, I've got a feeling, Sherry. Wait, Sherry. Don't go alone. Sherry! Sherry! Hmm. So here we are. We are now about to take over as Sherry. Um, got a feeling, Sherry, that your dad might actually just be the monster. Oh, I tell you what, guys. I never really noticed this on the PlayStation version. Or maybe I did and I just forgot. But Sherry actually feels different to control than Claire. Makes sense. But you wouldn't have thought she would have in an old PlayStation uh, 1 game. Or I mean, Dreamcast game, as it were. But she feels a lot slower. That's really interesting. Now, let's have a little look. See what Sherry's got. Yeah, she's got an F8 spray, and she has a picture taken fairly recently. Okay. Really? Because I think the run button is the same as the action button. That counted as... Uh, game. Cooperate with me, please, game. But yeah, she actually feels really sluggy and slow to control. I think that's probably um, exaggerated by the... Oh, come on, man. That is awful, like, design choice. So pushing the wrong button is actually making the bloody lift go up and down. Let's stop playing silly buggers with the lift, Sherry. I know it's probably fun, but we've got stuff to do. And if you're going to fuck around, I'm going to just sit here and drink ale. 
Right, let's... There we go. Right. Uh, yep. Uh, run! Fuck the dog. Not literally, that would be weird, but fuck the dog. Right, well, we've got a map. We'll have the sewage passage map, because why not? Uh, now, let's have a little look down here. I also, I do like her animations. And I think, without spoiling anything, I do prefer this section uh, as opposed to what they did in the remake. Because Sherry and Ada, ob why are you getting up again? You're supposed to push the box, not jump up. Um, Sherry and Ada obviously get their own bits, you know, in the remake. And I got to be very careful because there's a certain person probably watching that hasn't done the remake yet. And the certain person, you know who you are. You need to get on that, sir. You really need to get on that, sir. Um, I did not like Ada's bit w at all. And Sherry's bit was really good. First time round. But when you're replaying the game, um, having to do those two sections over and over again, I was not a fan. There we go. That's it, Sherry. And I hate what she's wearing in this as well. Oh. But Sherry, don't worry. You will not be this weak and feeble character forever. No, you become something much more formidable later on. You actually, unbelievably, become one of the game, well, one of the series' more interesting characters. Right, so, don't know why the key was down here. Really obscure. But now we have the key. But wait, there's still something else we can get. The D-pad on this control pad is so nice. Not only is it a really good control pad for the Dreamcast, like this D-pad, it's a really good D-pad in general. It's solid. Yeah, I Fido. Let's just get past the pork chop here. There we go. Now we should have some nice juicy goodies down here. I think we get some ammo. Yeah, grenade rounds. Grenade round. Uh, I mean, yes. I don't think the grenade launcher is as satisfying as the shotgun. I, I don't know. The grenade launcher is cool. It's okay. But, shotgun man. Leon definitely gets uh, better weapons, I think. I mean, fuck off, dog. Sherry's not as weak as she looks, either. Yes, 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 yes. I say that as I get horribly murdered. I'm actually still fine. Claire does get the more, quote, interest. Yeah, now we're on caution. Quote, more interesting weapons. But they're just, they're not as good, I don't think. Having said that, growing up, I always thought the spark shot was rubbish. It was more like a booby prize, but it's not bad. Claire, are you there? Sherry, are you okay? Did you find your dad? Yes, I'm okay, <laughs> but I couldn't find him. But I did find something else for you. Here. Here's another. Oof. <laughs> yeah, be careful, those. Thanks, sweetie. Now, why don't you come over here? I want you to stay with me. Claire, I can't reach the ventilation hole anymore. But don't worry, I'll find another way. Mm. I can take care of myself. Yes. Wait, Sherry, come back. Sherry! Sherry! Uh, I mean, I guess you can take care of yourself. You're not quite as good at taking care of yourself as, uh, as Ada. But, yeah, that is sad. That's literally all we have. 
Oh my god. Why can't I pick this stuff up? Thank you. Uh, we'll definitely take the club key, which will now allow us to get out of here, pretty much. And we're going to take the grenade rounds as well, because grenade rounds, yo. Now, let's jiggle our junk around in here. Now, we're on half an hour, so we probably should save the game and call it there. Uh, I guess. But, ah, uh, yeah, go on, we're going to save the game. I hate the fact that I have to cut this game up into these uh, half an hour sections. Um, I, I kind of don't want to save it either. Because we're going to really blow out our score. But, at the same time, we just had that weird glitch. I don't know if that's going to come through on the recording. Uh, I don't want to lose like, a load of progress. So, we are going to save it. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. When we come back, we're going to go back the way we came. Um... I'm going to use up the last key as well, but I think there's going to be more liquors where we came from this time, which is going to be interesting. Right, so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next part.